This, uh... This is really good. I just want to say thank you to all of you amazing people out there that are liking my videos, or hitting that subscribe button and giving me feedback on my videos. And I'm gonna show you something awesome. We have increased with 59 subscribers in the last 28 days. I mean, come on, 59 subscribers in 28 days? That is, that is amazing, thank you. So to all of you new faces out there, I'm just gonna give you a brief introduction to who I am. My name is Peter, I live in Sweden, so uh, let me give you a quick geography lesson. This is the United States of America. But there is 194 other countries on this amazing planet. And Africa and South America contains a whole... Oh, God damn it! Over here we have Australia and this is Asia. I think Russia is part of both Asia and Europe. Huh, that's weird. And here we have Europe. And Sweden is in between Norway and Finland, which is this tiny country right here. And that is where Sweden is. And no, we don't have polar bears roaming the streets, just so you know. So before I started using this lens as my main vlogging lens, I actually used the Tamron 2875, which is right here. The thing is, when you had the Tamron 28mm, it felt a little bit too tight when you were vlogging. The 16 to 35 is a really good focal length, but the thing is, the G Master lens was way too expensive, so I couldn't like go for that 2.8 lens because I couldn't justify a price of 2,800 euros. That that is way too much. And this bad boy cost 1,200, and that is basically half the price of the G Master lens. So you might wonder how does this lens perform? And that is exactly what we are going to go through in this video. Okay, so let's talk about the size of this lens. No, <laughs> I don't mean the size, I mean the actual size. Yeah, I think that the size of this lens is very good because it isn't too big and it doesn't extend that much when you are zooming. I think that the form factor and the weight of this lens is really good. I don't have a clue on the actual weight, but it doesn't feel that heavy, so uh, yeah. I I think it's uh, not too light, but not too heavy. It's more like, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good weight. And that actually brings us into the build quality of this lens. I do think that this lens is very good built. When you're sliding in the zooming, it has good resistance and the manual focus is like just about perfect resistance because it's not too hard, not too smooth. So I do like that and I like the metal feeling of it. I do, however, think that the zooming and the focus ring could have been like covered in rubber or something like that. One thing that I do not like about the build is that they haven't put a weather ceiling here because that is something that I actually thought was going to be on this lens but it is not so bear that in mind otherwise really good build quality and it feels robust so what about the video quality of this lens well it's actually very good. I've been using it to vlog, as I said, for the last three, four months. I'm really satisfied, especially at 16 millimeter. It's fantastic, it's super sharp. But when you go up to 35 again, then it does get a little bit softer. And if you have seen my vlog with a flying forklift, then this lens actually performed really good when I was filming some B-roll. But I'm going to show you right here what I mean. <laughs> That's, that's quite impressive, right? I mean, for a 16 to 35 f4 lens, I think that's very good. The OSS in this lens does help a lot as well because when you use this lens and use the super 35 mode in your camera, then you actually get 52 millimeter focal length, which is really good as well. And if you want to see more of the image quality of this lens in video mode, then just scroll back and check out some of my vlogs because I do record most of it with this lens. So how is the image quality of this lens? Well, at 16 millimeter, it is very, very good. I was using this as a vlogging lens in Norway and shot basically all the landscape shots like this, this, and this. I used this on my Sony a7R 3 which is this camera that I'm shooting on right now. And this is a high resolution camera. This has like 42 megapixels, which is insane and this lens performed extremely good on that camera you can however see a little bit of softness when you go up to 35 millimeters but i'm not a pixel peeper so i don't really care because i open my images and then sharpen them in photoshop anyway okay so uh let's sum it up uh, i do think that this lens is definitely worth the money something that this lens has that the other one doesn't is the optical steady shot which makes it a 
really good lens, especially for videos and vlogging like I use it for mostly. And I do think that if you are a vlogger or if you want to have a good lens to your camera that is a wide angle lens that doesn't really force you to like cut out your own kidney and like put it on the table and sell it on the black market, then this lens, yeah, it's a, it's a really good choice. So again, it's awesome that so many of you guys are supporting me in what I do and I do appreciate every single one of you out there. So thank you so much. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. And if you did think that this information was good, then please do give it a thumbs up as well. And until next time, take care.